welcome back to the Squadcast, everybody. Hey, Gabo. Hi, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you, dude? You doing well? I'm doing good. It's okay, Saturday. Good. It is Saturday. Thank welcome, goodness. Welcome, everybody. This new Squadcast is brought to you by nobody. I like it. All right, Gabo. Hey, today you told me I can kind of start. We got some topics to talk about. Uh, the first one's going to be... Uh, the most surprising Switch game announcement. Um, for me, I actually have it queued up. I'm going to turn it down, though, because it's a little loud. But I will let it play in the background. Uh, right. For me, I was not expecting this at all when it came out. Um, it was a very surprising announcement because this game, Killer Queen, was strictly an arcade game, which, Gabo, we have some history. You played that game with us kind of the first time we played video the games together. Time. At a, Where was that? Phoenix. Oh, and Expo in Phoenix, yeah. Yeah. So we had a, a pretty good attachment, not only as friends and as a squad, but also just the fact of loving this game. And the Switch out of nowhere during one of the directs was like, this dropped. And I was like, Killer Queen is coming. And I was so excited because Switch is a great multiplayer console. And for this game to be announced kind of just uh, sent us to the roof. Actually, I have a little quick story about that game. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. when, when I remember when you guys invite me to play that game, yeah. I was looking at it and I was like, eh. Okay. That, that looks too cartoony for me. Okay. But as soon as I begin playing it, oh man, I love it. Yeah. It's an addic- actually, we won the first round, right? The first match. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But after that, we lose everything. <laughs> we suck up. It's, it's an addicting game for sure. No, it's but, really good. It's really yeah. good. It's addicting. It's, really uh, it's eight players at the same time too as well. Online co-op. There it is. But I think, uh, I, I think it's perfect for the Switch. It yeah. really is a perfect Switch game. But Gabo, speaking of that, what about you? What was the most surprising announcement that came to you from the Nintendo Switch? Uh, I will say, I will say um, Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, part two. Yeah. Part two. And it's only because I didn't expect, I didn't expect the game to come out so soon. Well, it's supposed to come this year, but yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I don't know if it's this year. Yeah, we, but we don't have E three or anything, so we don't know. Yeah, we are in the limbo right now. We're but yeah, limbo. for me, that's the one because I was not expecting so quickly in the lifespan of the Switch. Yeah. And it was, I think it, with the reason it made it kind of into the lifespan of the Switch is because uh, when Breath of the Wild was first announced, it was also for the Wii U as well. So we kind of got it like before the Switch was like, it like became a launch title, but yeah. it came out like right in the early days of the Switch and the tail end of the Wii U. So like we had enough span to get it, yeah. you know? There, there, actually, there's a couple of games like Mortal Kombat. I'm very impressed. And On the oh, Switch, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Ultra Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the beginning, the, yep. I think it was the first of the second month yeah. of the console. Yeah, yep. uh, it's a it's a it's a great console, and I'm almost all those big titles. is surprised for me to be honest. Yeah, well, I think it's because we are coming from the Wii U. Yeah, and probably we was, you know, pro pro programmed. To be, you know, to to don't spend that much. To be a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to use that word, but yeah. whatever. I guess it is. What whatever. Gabo, uh, speaking of that, I'll, I'll head us off with this next one. But the next topic we wrote down was our our most desired Switch game, and I have that queued up too as well. But I have to get it right here, and it is for me this game right here, Super oh, Mario yeah. RPG Two. If I could pick any game for Nintendo to put out, whether it's the Switch or not. Um, I know Paper Mario was kind of like supposed to be a Super Mario RPG too, but I I want this exact game right here, what we're looking at. I want this just a straight up part two, just like how you said, Breath of the Wild is getting a part two that's not different. It's not different graphics. It's not different anything. It looks like a straight up continuation. I was going to ask you that if you want a remake or a straight up, a straight up, you know, continuation. Yeah. I want a continuation. This game did a lot for me as far as, you know, we talked about before when Bowser joined your team and it got me into RPGs and it was really cool. You know what would be the perfect X scenario? What? If they come out with the part two and also you can download that one. Yeah. And that would be amazing. Anyways, I think it's coming for the for the Switch anyway. Let's the hope Super so, NES games. Or it's already there. 
Yeah, is it on the on the Super Nintendo thing? I, I think it's already there. I, I don't know to be honest. When I have it on like every. I have it the real copy. I have it on emulated yeah. on everything, so I haven't looked. What about we you? To ask, we need to ask Ricky. Ask Riquito. Riquito. For me, yeah. uh, uh, this is a difficult one, but I think I need a new Star Fox. Star a, Fox. A really, really Star Fox game. Yeah. So, you know? are you? So, if you could have a, a Star Fox style of game, are you going to go for what type of like graphic styling? Would you, would you want a completely new style, or kind of go with the style we've already had? You know what? I would like to be like uh, cartoonish, like hand okay. drawing. That would be awesome, dude. There used to be a, a Star Fox like little animation short that someone yeah. did, and it it looked like that, and it was can amazing. You, can you imagine a new Star Fox? With the Breath of the Wild graphics. That'd be cool, man. That would be That'd awesome. Be cool. And, you know, a real Star Fox game, not a 3D platformer or whatever. So you don't want, like the, Star Fo- you don't want no. like the Star Fox adventures. No. You want like no. Nintendo 64 continuation with yes, new graphics. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah that would be awesome. I-, I would say good job with Star Fox Zero, but for me, they screwed up in the controllers department, man. That was hard. I, I played that with uh, a friend of mine named uh, Marco when I was in Texas and we played it like right. He got it super early before we looked at any reviews or anything. And, and we liked it a lot, but I feel like once we looked at reviews that everyone was talking about controls and then it yeah. kind of got in my head and I was like, yeah, the controls could be better. You know, I'm not yeah. really that happy with the controls. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I didn't bought that one day one because yeah. uh, back then I used to trust the reviews. And remember what I told you, don't trust the review. Never that's trust what, the review, man. That's why we have chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate. <laughs> you always, he, he always use that example. We have chocolate and we have vanilla. And vanilla. Yeah, and those are two separate things. Yeah. Well, oh, get, my my that, son is getting text messages on my phone from uh-oh. his friend. They, they don't have like uh, phones. So on his tablet, he has Hangouts. So his friend, they text each other oh, Hangouts. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty that's cool. cool. Nice do it. happiness is so it's so awesome. It's yeah. so awesome. It's so awesome that he has a communication with the friends. Brixton's right here. Look. Ooh. Yeah, Brix. He's over there. He's over there playing some some Roblox. Oh. Look at. By the way, look how cool his be- desktop is. By the way, look how cool my son's room is yeah. in general. Dude, look at this. Did I ever tell you I, I love that game room? I love this. The Xbox skateboard deck. Uh, That's a grail should, for me. You should give me that. You know, Mork got that for me for like 10 bucks back in the day. And that was really cool of him. So, yeah. Uh, Gabo, last topic that we wrote down. Let's see here. Who is the first console you ever played and what game? So, uh, I'll go since you went to the last one. We'll keep switching around. All right. Uh, For me, it was the Sega Master System was the first console I ever played. Wow. Really? Yeah. And it's funny because I remember we had an Atari at the time, but I never really picked it up. Not that I had any like negativity towards it. I just never was interested and funny the game that i played i hope my volume's down on this it is okay first game I ever played was this game you know this game gabble right here watch it's by world of long pay- plays it's Sega. Gonna if you're ready for this gabo you ever oh, played this guy yeah of course yeah that was the free great the free secret game yeah so it was a. Uh, it's a uh, the Sega Master System, different versions had different games built yeah. in. I can't remember what the one. I know Hang On was in there. I don't know if it was part of this one or what else was in there. I, it had cute music. Cute music. Amazing music. Well, actually, this has music. Let me see if I can turn it up. I don't think you're going to be able to hear it, Gabo, but I think everybody else might be able to. Just pretend you can hear it, Gabo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, but this game, uh, it was, if you don't put a cartridge in and you turn on your console, a uh, surprise game would be in there. And this was the game that was in there for me. And it's funny, I didn't know that this was a thing. I just remember seeing the Sega Master System hitting on and I was like, you know, you know man. what? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. that's super cool, man. Yeah. That's super cool. How cool would that be if next gen consoles did something like that? Even if it's a little cheesy game like this. <laughs> That's a good idea, honestly. It's a good idea, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't wow. see that possible right now. That would be so cool if they up. did that. And it's like, if you get <laughs> this game, what, what are you laughing about? You got something in your head. <laughs> can, can you imagine putting a game like this with Master Chief running around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. 
Probably yeah, so. a- Xbox will do that, but not Sony. Sony, I think, is having some troubles right now. I keep yeah. I, I don't really read headlines or anything because I don't have social media. They always they always have been trouble. Uh oh. With, the, with the controller. Here comes the haters. Yeah, I know. I dogged on the the controller quite a bit. Gabo, how about you, buddy? What you got for uh, my first, first console, console you ever played? Yeah. My my first console was the NES. The NES, okay. The NES. It was around I think it was eighty eight. What game? And, and the first game uh, was Duck Hunt. Really? Because I remember my mom bought us the i think it was the deluxe set the one with the with the sapper yep and it was not the orange sapper it was the the great sapper so <coughs> excuse me so i remember uh we opened the box and normally everybody i think everybody one 99 percent wow. of everybody will play super mario right yep. away but no i pick up i pick up the gun and i begin trying to killing dogs i didn't kill any dogs man Really? So did you like it like to a point where were you excited when the du- nostalgic reasons, were you excited when uh, Duck Hut Dog got an out- announced in Smash for nostalgic reasons? Or were you just like, oh, that's cool? Uh, to be honest, I- I'd say that's cool. But that's cool. I know you're not but, a big Smash guy, so. Yeah, but to that point, it gets me excited and kind of no- nostalgic. Yeah. Every time Nintendo came out with something from the 80s. Yeah. So yeah, you understand me. What oh yeah. Anytime it's like it's like we're the kind of people where when Smash Bros. is coming out or announcing a new character, we're not the ones like saying like, Oh, I hope they put in this from Bayonetta or this from Oh yeah. We're I we're was... saying like, where's the Contra guys? Where's River City yeah, Ransom? You know, where's yeah, Trojan? Talking. Yeah. You, you would love to have Trojan in Smash, wouldn't you? Oh yes, sir. But we got Simon Belmont. That was pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Who would be oh. your number one choice before we go? Of what? For Smash, a Smash character. Uh, Do you want me to go first uh, so you can think? Go ahead, go ahead. I would pick Wart, which is the final boss from Super Mario Brothers 2. He's would, almost like he's almost like Bowser, but a non. He's very a, a lazy looking Bowser. I think a perfect character for Smash would be Bionic Commando. Oh, that is so good choice. Yeah. Ooh, or Jason and Sof- Sophie or Sophia from Blaster Master. Because you could hop yeah. in and out of your ship. Your yeah. Sophie, I always forget the name. Sophie or Sophia. Sophie, but yeah. So, so, yeah, Sophia Tree, something. No, that's uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah, new something. Zero one. Whatever. That's a good game, by the way. The Switch version. I know. It's good Both game. of them. You, you was the one that recommended me. The Switch yeah, I, I, that's the very first game I got for the Switch, and I beat it. And then really? I remember, yeah, and then I downloaded the Shantae DLC and Shovel Knight DLC. You could play as both of them. All right, something real quick. Yeah, yeah. What was when when you first bought the Switch? Yeah. What was your thought, your thoughts? Um, I was excited and it, I, I'm not a handheld guy at all, all right. but I found myself playing a lot of handheld. Put it this way. If it weren't for the handheld mode, I wouldn't have beat Mario Odyssey. I wouldn't have beat Mario Rabbids. Really? I wouldn't have, yeah. I'd be all those games in handheld mode. All of them. You, you know, I'm very picky with the quality. Yeah. Not like, you know, other guys like yeah. Gary or anything, but yeah, I'm very yeah. picky. So I don't play the handheld mode got first it. because for my hands, I don't know if I ever told you, I got big hands. Yeah. It's so uh, uncomfortable. But yeah. every time that I play a, a console, yeah, I want to play it as the full, you know, yeah. the full, yeah. full graphics. Full experience. The, the full experience. So with the Switch, uh, my my experience, man, I was, I, I remember I bought it on, eBay, in, on Best Buy. Yeah. And I picked it up the same day and it was i feel emotional my Good. wife That's my cool. wife my wife can tell you that i, I even begin crying yeah That's and cool. Man. I, I don't know why probably it's because i was so confident we got a new nintendo yeah and it's cool a good one it's a good one. Which it's I not... did like. I did like the Wii U. I'm not saying I didn't. But oh, it me was, too. I know. I, it, it. I know it wasn't going to be as prominent because it wasn't doing yeah, so well. Like you know? this one. Yeah. But yeah. And cool, man. Cool. That's I it. I like it. That's it. Are Happiness. You, you, you like me? I, love. Oh. Happiness. <laughs> All right. Wow. Your mic cut out when you did that, but it's back. It's back. I think when you yell, it does that. Buddy. Let, let me see. Ah! Yeah. Cut out. Also, I have to edit that. Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>